Hello, and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. Today, I'm going to talk about humus and humic acid. And today's video is sponsored by our Amazon affiliate link at, that you can see at the bottom there. So humus, what is humus? Well, humus is what occurs when leaves fall out in nature. So as you can see here, we have some leaves here that I collected and I dug around in some outdoors and some bushes just to give you this, show you this. And you'll see underneath that the leaves started to decompose. So what the humus is, uh, it, when it eventually, if this is humus and being created at this point, so it's not yet humus, but it will be. What humus is, is the soft black brown substance that forms in the late last stages of decomposition or of leaves, vegetable matter, that sort of thing. The great thing about humic acid and humus is that it's rich in nutrients and organic matter and it creates an environment for your house plants that encourages beneficial soil bacteria and microscopic fungi like mycorrhizal fungi, which I have another video on. So what happens when you get this humic acid into your house plants is you do what I always suggest that you do, and that is that you act as mother or father nature. So you, by adding humic acid to your plants, which you can get in a product, which uh, granulated humic acid, you are acting as father or mother nature. So you are giving plants exactly what they need, just like they would get out in nature. And remember, all houseplants originally come from nature. The croton is uh, native to tropical loca locales. So you will see it growing outdoors in places like Hawaii and in other places like that. So, so this humus is, as I just mentioned, Hawaii, um, where there are jungles and other, other areas of the world where there are jungles. This is uh, something that you will find naturally in jungles, in forest floors, and that sort of thing. So what you want to do is, if uh, one thing that really helps your houseplants to do, is to go ahead and to add some humic acid to your houseplants. So you uh, could, you do, when you do mulch your houseplants, which I talked about a, a few videos ago, that does also add, add humic acid to your plants, but if you want to give them a double shot of humic acid in a quick, easy way of humic acid, then add some granulated humic acid, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is some granulated humic acid. There are a few brands. This is a nice, a nice brand that I like. You can even compost this box when you're done. So here is the humic acid. I'm going to show it to you in on this in here, this little cup I have in the little scooper I have in here to give you an idea. So you can see this pretty much looks like ground coffee. So this is humic acid that's been prepared. If you find it out underneath your shrubs, it will be a more of a soft and uh, uh, softer, not as granulated product, the product or the product or the, that Mother Nature made, but it will still be a dark brown and it will look like basically wet coffee grounds or wet or tea leaves after they've been steeped. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to, this is a nice croton here that could use a little boost of humic acid. So I'm going to take, what I suggest doing is getting it down to the root zone. So I suggest taking a wooden dowel, something about that size, putting it into the plant, making a little hole, and then what you want to do is sprinkle, you can do it with a spoon, you can do it with a scoop like I'm doing right now. Sprinkle a little bit into the hole, cover it with a wooden dowel, and go to another area. And this little plant, I would do it <clears throat> about three times. So you don't need to do every square inch, or but every inch or so in this little pot you would, but you don't need to do it that many times. So here we go. This plant has also been mulched, so it's also getting some humic acid that way too. You really can't overdo the humic acid unless you plant it straight in it, which 
I wouldn't suggest you do, but uh, the good news is it's not, it's not, it's not like a chemical fertilizer with where you could harm the plant. Now, what you want to do after you have put in the humic acid is you want to water it in well. That's what I'm doing now here. Got it watered in really well. <clears throat> and it will settle in and it will begin to do what it does, which is create a more, a more a, a, an environment more like what Mother Nature would create outside. And your plant will be even happier and healthier. Thank you for watching this video. video. Please leave comments about in, any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.